I know. Fractions, right? I'm sorry. I had, I figured I had to at least do a couple. Um, I at least wanted to go through them because it seems like whenever I give a homework or, you know, some work, students will just pile through. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. And then it's like, ah, fractions. No, not fractions. So hopefully by this point, we remember this shared property and we got it. We're like, okay, I know I need to multiply this times this and one third times uh, negative one fourth. But then again, I, I'm lost. So let's just write that out, how we would do it, just like with anything else. We have one third times one third P, and then a positive one third times a negative one fourth. Now just remember, multiplying fractions is very simple. We multiply our numerators and we multiply our denominators. So here, I, um, I can only multiply my numbers, so I have one times one is one, three times three is nine, with a P, plus one times um, well, positive and a negative is actually going to produce me a negative, and then one times one is one, over three times four, which is 12. So my final solution would be one ninth P minus one twelfth. So even though I have fractions, don't worry about them so much. Just treat it just like any other problem with your distributive property. Just make sure that you review back how to multiply fractions, and you'll be fine.